In physiology, dead space is the volume of air which is inhaled that does not take part in the gas exchange, either because it one, remains in the conducting airways, or two, reaches alveoli that are not perfused or poorly perfused. In other words, not all the air in each breath is available for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Mammals breathe in and out of their lungs, wasting that part of the inhalation which remains in the conducting airways where no gas exchange can occur. Benefits do accrue to a seemingly wasteful design for ventilation that includes dead space. Carbon dioxide is retained, making a bicarbonate buffered blood and interstitium possible. Inspired air is brought to body temperature, increasing the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen, improving O2 uptake. Particulate matter is trapped on the mucus that lines the conducting airways, allowing its removal by mucociliary transport. Inspired air is humidified, improving the quality of airway mucus. In humans, about a third of every resting breath has no change in O2 and CO2 levels. In adults, it is usually in the range of 150 milliliters. Dead space can be increased and better envisioned by breathing through a long tube, such as a snorkel. Even though one end of the snorkel is open to the air, when the wearer breathes in, they inhale a significant quantity of air that remained in the snorkel from the previous exhalation. Thus, a snorkel increases the person's dead space by adding even more airway that doesn't participate in gas exchange. Topic: <laughs> Components. The total dead space, also known as physiological dead space, is the sum of the anatomical dead space plus the alveolar dead space. Topic: <laughs> Anatomical dead space. Anatomical dead space is that portion of the airways such as the mouth and trachea to the bronchioles which conducts gas to the alveoli. No gas exchange is possible in these spaces. In healthy lungs where the alveolar dead space is small, Fowler's method accurately measures the anatomic dead space by a nitrogen washout technique. The normal value for dead space volume in ml is approximately the lean mass of the body in pounds and averages about a third of the resting tidal volume 450 to 500 milliliters. In Fowler's original study, the anatomic dead space was 156 plus or minus 28 milliliters n equals 45 males or 26% of their tidal volume. Despite the flexibility of the trachea and smaller conducting airways, their overall volume i.e. the anatomic dead space changes little with bronchoconstriction or when breathing hard during exercise. Birds have a disproportionately large anatomic dead space, they have a longer and wider trachea than mammals the same size, reducing the airway resistance. This adaptation does not impact gas exchange because birds flow air through their lungs, they do not breathe in and out like mammals. Topic. Alveolar dead space Alveolar dead space is some of the volumes of those alveoli which have little or no blood flowing through their adjacent pulmonary capillaries, i.e., alveoli that are ventilated but not perfused, and where, as a result, no gas exchange can occur. Alveolar dead space is negligible in healthy individuals, but can increase dramatically in some lung diseases due to ventilation perfusion mismatch. Calculating the dead space Just as dead space wastes a fraction of the inhaled breath, dead space dilutes alveolar air during exhalation. By quantifying this dilution it is possible to measure anatomical and alveolar dead space, employing the concept of mass balance, as expressed by Bohr equation. V D V T equals P A C O two minus P E C O two P A C O two Display style frac v underscore d v underscore t equals frac p underscore a c e c o two p underscore e c e c o two p underscore a c e c o two, where v d display style v underscore d is the dead space volume and v t 
display style v underscore t is the tidal volume p a c o two display style p underscore a c e c o two is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arterial blood and p e c o two display style p underscore e c e c o two is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the expired exhaled air topic physiological dead space the concentration of carbon dioxide co2 in healthy alveoli is known it is equal to its concentration in arterial blood since CO2 rapidly equilibrates across the alveolar capillary membrane. The quantity of CO2 exhaled from the healthy alveoli will be diluted by the air in the conducting airways and by air from alveoli that are poorly perfused. This dilution factor can be calculated once the CO2 in the exhaled breath is determined either by electronically monitoring the exhaled breath or by collecting the exhaled breath in a gas impermeant bag, a Douglas bag and then measuring the mixed gas in the collection bag. Algebraically, this dilution factor will give us the physiological dead space as calculated by the Bohr equation V physiological dead space V T equals P A C O two minus P mixed expired C O two P A C O two Display style frac v underscore c e physiological dead space v underscore t equals frac p underscore a c e c o two p underscore c e mixed expired c o two p underscore a c e c o two. Topic: Alveolar dead space. When the poorly perfused alveoli empty at the same rate as the normal alveoli, it is possible to measure the alveolar dead space. In this case, the end tidal sample of gas measured by capnography contains CO2 at a concentration that is less than that found in the normal alveoli, i.e., in the blood. V alveolar dead space V T equals P A CO two minus P end tidal CO two P A CO two Display style frac v underscore c e alveolar dead space v underscore t equals frac p underscore a c e c o two p underscore c e end tidal c o two p underscore a c e c o two. Caution: the end tidal c o two concentration may not be a well-defined number. Poorly ventilated alveoli do not generally empty at the same rate as healthy alveoli. Particularly in emphysematous lungs, diseased alveoli empty slowly, and so the CO2 concentration of the exhaled air increases progressively throughout the expiration. Monitoring alveolar dead space during a surgical operation is a sensitive and important tool in monitoring airway function. During strenuous exercise, CO2 will rise throughout the exhalation and may not be easily matched to a blood gas determination, which led to serious errors of interpretation early in the history of dead space determinations. Example, for a tidal volume of 500 mL, an arterial carbon dioxide of 42 mm Hg, and an end expired carbon dioxide of 40 mm Hg V alveolar dead space 500 ml equals 42 mm Hg minus 40 mm Hg 42 mmhg display style frac v underscore c e alveolar dead space c e 500 ml equals frac 42 c e mmhg minus 40 c e mmhg c e 42 mmhg and so 
V alveola dead space equals 24 ml display style V underscore C alveola dead space equals 24 C ml topic anatomic dead space A different maneuver is employed in measuring anatomic dead space. The test subject breathes all the way out, inhales deeply from a 0% nitrogen gas mixture, usually 100% oxygen, and then breathes out into equipment that measures nitrogen and gas volume. This final exhalation occurs in three phases. The first phase has no nitrogen and is the air that entered the lung only as far as the conducting airways. The nitrogen concentration then rapidly increases during the brief second phase and finally reaches a plateau, the third phase. The anatomic dead space is equal to the volume exhaled during the first phase plus half that exhaled during the second phase. The Bohr equation is used to justify the inclusion of half the second phase in this calculation. <laughs> dead space and the ventilated patient The depth and frequency of our breathing is determined by CHEM receptors and the brainstem, as modified by a number of subjective sensations. When ventilated, the patient breathes at a rate and tidal volume that is dictated by the machine. Because of dead space, taking deep breaths more slowly e.g. 10-500 ml breaths per minute is more effective than taking shallow breaths quickly e.g. 2250 ml breaths per minute. Although the amount of gas per minute is the same 5 L per minute, a large proportion of the shallow breaths is dead space, and does not allow oxygen to get into the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanical dead space Mechanical dead space is dead space in an apparatus in which the breathing gas must flow in both directions as the user breathes in and out, increasing the necessary respiratory effort to get the same amount of usable air or breathing gas, and risking accumulation of carbon dioxide from shallow breaths. It is in effect an external extension of the physiological dead space. It can be reduced by using separate intake and exhaust passages with one-way valves placed in the mouthpiece. This limits the dead space to between the non-return valves and the user's mouth and or nose. The additional dead space can be minimized by keeping the volume of this external dead space as small as possible, but this should not unduly increase work of breathing. With a full face mask or demand diving helmet, keeping the inside volume small, having a small internal oronasal mask inside the main mask, which separates the external respiratory passage from the rest of the mask interior. In a few models of full face mask a mouthpiece like those used on diving regulators is fitted, which has the same function as an oronasal mask, but can further reduce the volume of the external dead space, at the cost of forcing mouth breathing. See also Bohr equation Christian Bohr Respiratory system, a biological system of specific organs and structures for gas exchange in animals and plants.